let's crouch so he's crouching and he's moving crouch as he should and now aim and he's straight walking while crouching and aiming while crouching turning in place as well okay everything works okay let's talk about states animation states and the variables that we have right here under the type state so all of those variables are actually except the first person one is being read directly from the movement component the entire agr pro is just an extension of the movement component without creating a new character movement component which is a child of the base character movement component why we decided on going like this is that um, i didn't want to force players to use either my character movement component or my entire character class we are using agr character class here but everything that we have set up here could be achieved with the standard character or any other character so you can use acf als you can use any other system uh, that is uh, available on the marketplace and will still work with these components as long as it's an extension of the standard movement component and standard character and most of those plugins they they base on the character and movement component itself so those states are actually being read directly from the movement and we have the movement mode and movement mode is just get and blend movement mode so they are just uh, walking nav mesh walking which is basically the same uh, falling which is walking but not having contact with ground uh, swimming which is swimming flying and custom and you have you can have then um, infinite number of different custom poses so this is one thing and we're already reading a lot of boolean variables like in air which is either falling or flying or you can just read uh, directly flying or falling because in air is uh, or any of those we have the walking state and grounded which is um, well, technically different but they will usually give you the same value crouching which is based on the character uh, input and using the function of crouch uh, swimming standing which is just not crouching and um, idle which is calculated based on velocity but it has certain threshold of uh, wiggle space when if you are moving really really slow he will still read that you are in idle so if your velocity is something around just one unit uh, per frame and uh, first person is just a value that's being changed uh, by the component itself and it's being replicated and how it's being used uh, we'll discuss in a different tutorial so how do we use this <coughs> is that your workflow, uh, let's say that our control, which was um, here, slow walking control, let's just delete that. Just, uh, yeah, this stays the same. Slow walk is false. Let's go back to event graph and say left control will now be crouching. So let's say that on press we crouch, on release we uncrouch. So this is being replicated automatically by the character class itself and how um, Unreal Engine handles it. Mm. And let's go, uh, let's just wait, play local one hit play. Okay, so now if we show collision and I hit crouch, my capsule will get a lot smaller but the car and the movement speed will change but the character will actually act the same the camera goes immediately downwards because it doesn't have any lag and yeah and we don't have different animations set for it but we can read this variable inside the uh, character uh, animation and we can say that inside our anime started when we are saving the animation started grounded we can do um, <coughs> blend poses by boolean and we can say is standing 
So if he's standing, we go to this. But if he's not standing, we want to go into crouching state. So let's do crouching state. We already have a blend space for crouching, but it's 2D blend space for no actual reason. So let's make a new one that is just one dimensional blend space. Let's go into animation, blend space 1D. Our skeleton, and let's call it blend space underscore uh, starter crouch 1D. Okay. And once again, doesn't scale. This is just the direction. It goes from minus 180 to 180. And grid is 4. Interpolation time is 0. And blend wave is 4. And let's do crouch. Okay, so, so this is left. Uh, crouch, hip, forward. This is forward. Backward goes twice on backwards. So the interpolation zero means that you go from minus 180 to 180, which happens a lot, in <coughs> zero frames. <coughs> so you don't go like this back and forth when you are walking backwards but you just keep on here or keep on here doesn't really matter and right okay and you just save and yeah and we have crouching okay let's use this one uh, let's go here and let's uh, Let's do a new state machine and let's say anim starter crouch and let's say inertialization and to false and crouching time will be 0 0.25, 0 0.25 and here we're going to have the same states which is idle inside idle we have crouch idle I don't, uh, this is just the idle, yeah, this is just the idle. And from idle we can go to state moving or anything like that. And it will be crouch 1D, okay, it's our blend space and we can push forward the direction. Uh, and also we need uh, our play rate to be exposed and play rate will be our velocity and will be map range clamped so our max velocity will be 300 and our minimum velocity will be 150 and it will go from 0.5 to 1 and this is the play rate of this blend space 1d and now it's saying that we don't have any transition uh, here but we have transition but it's not doing anything so let's say that it's uh, idle not and we go here and go back here it's saying idle and nothing more has to be set up here let's go back here Connect this. Oh, one more thing. Those two transitions. Let's check it from standard blend to inertialization. It looks a lot better. And you know what? We could actually do inertialization here instead of here. And change this to be also in inertialization uh, blend. Okay, compile save. Now we have those two uh, modes. And if we go and hit play, and if I hit control, I will actually crouch. And you can see that it's, it's blending animation quite okay. And now I can move crouching and I can still change my locomotion type from directional walking to aiming. I can aim in all directions. I can get up which is a bit fast, let's say that false blend, which is two start crouch. Okay, let's say that this is 0.35 and this is 0.35 as well. And for the camera, like here, 
we can make the camera lag a bit smooth so set lag mm. so what we need is the camera lag which is here and then right camera lag not rotation lag just camera lag and let's say that the lag speed is zero which means that there is no lag speed uh, but we're also going to make that there is a lag speed of 10 and after point two, uh, what, point 0.35 it's going back to 0 and this happens on both crouch and uncrouch okay and let's see how it looks like we're crouching and crouching crouching and crouching okay so now the camera is more smooth and it's this doing the smoothness only for one third of a second when we are crouching okay okay let's test this on multiplayer so let's go to say as client of a dedicated server let's go into this client and let's crouch so he's crouching and he's moving crouch as he should and now aim and he's straight walking while crouching and aiming while crouching turning in place as well okay everything works Yeah, so this is how you use states that are being driven by the character movement component and they are being replicated automatically uh, to all clients without any extra work that you have to do. <clears throat> so thanks for listening and uh, stay tuned for more tutorials. Okay, we can do one more really fast thing like how to toggle crouch. Oh, I need to add it to the list. So how to toggle crouch is instead of pressing and releasing we need to do everything on press. So on press we crouch only if we are not crouching. So what we can do is say is crouching and this is a character variable that is being replicated automatically so if crouching is false then we want to crouch but if crouching is true then we want to uncrouch that's the entire logic behind making it as a toggle variable 